Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with the video response. And who knows? Your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Aaron Yeager, the Titan Slayer, and Wander, the Colossi Slayer. So, viewers, does size really matter? According to these two, the answer is no. They can kill giants or even become the giants themselves. But only one of them has a big chance of winning this battle. This is Universes. Everyone gets hungry. When you get hungry, you eat. When you eat, you live. Everyone wants to live, too. The big animals eat the little animals, and the big humans break down walls, stomp through cities, and devour the poor little humans in a terrifying manner. One of these humans happened to be a mother, the mother of Aaron Yeager. And as you can imagine, you'd be pretty traumatized if you saw your mother get eaten by a titan. There'd be fear, despair, or even anger. Or in Aaron's case, a mixture of all three, which equals revenge. To quench this vengeful thirst, Aaron joined the training squad with his best friend Armin and his adoptive sister Mikasa. Through lots of hard work, Aaron was the fifth best soldier and became a part of the Survey Corps. So as you can imagine, he was as ready as he'll ever be to slay all the titans. But no matter how much training you go through, you can't slay these gigantic titans without some sort of gear. Aaron is able to swing around cities like Spider-Man with his three-dimensional maneuver gear. This gear allows the user to move around with ease by shifting their weight. They can build up momentum and speed until they reach the agility required to swing around and stab a titan's weak spot. Stab with what you ask? In their scabbard rests a powerful blade for cutting down titans. These blades are even strong enough to slice human bones. But there are some titans that are just too much even if you have all this gear. So what do you do? Well, you know the old saying, fight fire with fire? Well, now it's time to fight Titan with Titan. That's right, Aaron is a Titan shifter and can become a giant beast that stands over 15 meters tall. That's over 40 feet. This growth in size also means he's incredibly fast and incredibly strong compared to the average human. In fact, Titan Aaron even has some regenerative abilities. In his human form, he still has them too, but they're much, much slower. And there still is the fact that Aaron is vulnerable to the weak spot that every Titan has on the back of their neck. It's not like you'd be able to hit the weak spot though, considering you'd have to catch up to him first. Aaron is able to keep up with the female Titan who can outrun the Survey Corps' horses. And he was able to bite his hand and transform his arm all before a cannonball hit him after it was fired. He's pretty tough too. He can take some hard hits and have them fixed up in no time. His regeneration helps out a lot too as he can heal arms or even his head in just a matter of seconds. He's also powerful enough to send two Titans flying with a single punch. But he's not always going to be a Titan so he needs some good base feats too. Luckily for him, he does. He was able to kill two fully grown men by the age of nine. He's able to slay building sized titans and he graduated as the fifth best soldier in the training academy. That last one may not sound like much, but once you consider that this training is intense enough for many to actually die during it, it sounds a lot more impressive. The world couldn't ask for a better titan slayer than Aaron Yeager. Losing someone is never easy. Just like I mentioned with Aaron, you'll experience a wide range of emotions. Sadness, fear, and anger, but that's mainly because there's nothing you can do about it. Wander, on the other hand, had a plan in mind. He hopped on his horse and rode off to a cursed ancient land. Wander's girlfriend Mono had passed away, so he brought her to the Shrine of Worship to get her brought back to life. Once Wander arrived, he was greeted by a strange voice that belonged to the entity known as Dorman. Together, the two made a deal. In exchange for the destruction of 16 monsters called Colossi, Dorman would bring Mono back to life. However, this deal did come with a much heavier price that Wander didn't seem to care about. With each Colossi defeated, a shadow was released that would possess Wander over time. 
But, again, he didn't care and set off on his epic quest. Now, this cursed lane was quite large and it would take quite some time to get from point A to point B. Luckily for Wander, he had a horse to help him out by the name of Agro. This horse comes to Wander's aid with a call or a simple whistle. He also has some special gear and weapons for fighting the Colossi once he finally makes it to them. Wander uses the Ancient Sword. It's a powerful blade that uses the power of light to expose the location of his enemies and their weak spots. And then, with the much more powerful Queen Sword, Wander can actually strike down a Colossi in less than three hits on their weak spot. Sometimes the weak spots are too far away to reach, though, meaning Wander needs some kind of projectiles. He has a bow that can fire regular arrows, whistling arrows to distract opponents, or even exploding arrows. And his final weapon is a harpoon he can throw at a Colossi from afar. Wander's clothes are useful, too. The Cloak of Deception turns him invisible. Well, all except his shadow. The Cloak of Force and Mask of Power increase the strength and damage Wander can do, and the Shaman's Cloak and Shaman's Mask increase his defense. With all these weapons, clothing, and a trusty horse by his side, Wander was able to defeat all 16 Colossi. These beasts ranged from a speedy little runt that took the shape of a bull, to a skyscraper-sized monster that shoots lasers out of its fingers. And Wander was able to defeat all of these guys by himself. These Colossi were strong enough to shake the ground with their very punches, and the ones that could fire projectiles were quick enough to reach blinding speeds almost invisible to the human eye. His horse Agro can keep up with flying Colossi or speedy sand snakes, and he can survive a fall from hundreds of feet with nothing more than a hurt leg. After that fall, Wander was left alone to fight the final Colossi, Malice, who stands at 196 feet tall. After the defeat of all the Colossi, Wander could even become a monster himself as Dorman completely possesses his body and gains the strength to shake the entire shrine of worship with his punch. He can even smack soldiers away like they're nothing but flies. So, as we can clearly see, Wander can handle a Colossi, or two, or sixteen. But how will he handle a Titan? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Hello fans of Universes, this is Pineapple Guy Carmine here with a prediction for Aaron Yeager vs. Wander. And I don't normally do these, but since I was the one who requested this fight, I thought why not. Now a lot of people have been siding with Aaron in this because they don't really know what Wander's done or what kind of weapons he has, which is actually more than you'd think. Most people think he just has an arrow and a sword to fight with all the Colossi with, but... That's actually not true. He does have multiple versions of these weapons. And also add-ons that boost his stats and give him special abilities. Like the Cloak of Deception, which actually makes him invisible. Well, except for his shadow, but... In the heat of a battle, I don't think Aaron would be somebody who could notice a small detail like that. Even though he's very much trained in combat. Another tool that Wander has that could take this is a flash arrow. This arrow may actually be the key to him if he does not get his dormant form because the arrow actually damages foes even if you do not hit their weak points like it does with Colossi and Shadow of Colossus it, even, but if he does find Titan Aaron's weak point he may actually be able to strike it with the Harpoon of Thunder which can actually take most of the health of the Colossi in the game but can't finish them so it is obvious that there is no connection between the Colossi and the Harpoon, meaning that this is actually the Harpoon itself and would work on other foes. Not like the sword, which actually is the weakness of the Colossi, which probably won't come in handy too much for Aaron. And he also ha and if he's ever fallen from a great height, he can use his Cloth of Desperation, which acts as a handy parachute. Well, compared to Aaron's tethers, which can also stop him. And for, if he uses the Cloak of Deception along with a Whistling Arrow, which is a distraction tool he uses, he shoots a arrow that makes a whistling sound to distract his enemy. Now he doesn't normally do this in the game, but that's because the, there's a mechanic where if you are noticed once, you cannot be, you know, in stealth again, so. But in a real battle, like with these two, you could actually hide they could actually hide again so and wonder actually has some other things to boost his stats like to boost his defense he has a shaman's cloak to boost his average strength he has both the mask of strength and the mask of power along with the cloak of force to boost his 
sword strength. Now, with all these combined, I think the Wander could take out Human Aaron, but Titan Aaron could be a bit of an issue. Which is why I actually hope that Leo gives him his Dormant form. If he has his Dormant form, there's a chance of Wander winning. But, there is a lot of trouble he'd have to go through. First off, we don't know Dormant's exact strength. It's speculated that it could be the amount of all the Colossi combined, which I actually think is true, since Wander himself gains strength whenever he defeats a Colossi, meaning he gains their power. Or not their whole power, maybe. Because he doesn't take on their full power of being able to smash stuff yet, so I assume that when a when he turns into a Colossi, he could form with Dorne to make up that power gap. But Wander has a weakness in Dorne form. If he's injured in his human form, it carries over a Dorne form. So if he has a serious wound on his leg, it'll impair him in a fighting match with Titan Aaron. But as long as he can just get to Dorne form before he gets a serious injury, he could take it. But there is one thing that's debatable among many of Shadow of the Colossus fans about Dormant. It's if he can be killed at all without destroying the actual sword that can put him to sleep. Because he never actually dies in the game, he just gets sealed away. So there is speculation on that. So there might be uh, another Ganondorf Holy Weapons fallacy here. Well, I'm not sure about it. But overall, I think Wander's arsenal could beat Aaron, because Aaron's arsenal will run out eventually, and he'll be forced to turn into a Titan. And if Wander has Dorman along with Aaron turning into a Titan early, then he can take this, because Aaron can't stay in Titan form for long. He can only stay in there for a few minutes, which means Wander just has to wait him out, both in human form for when he runs out of his gas and blades and in titan form for when he exhausts himself and eventually falls unconscious. That's why I think Wander will be the winner of this universe's match against Aaron Yeager. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye. And the results are in. The winner is... Aaron Yeager. And since I have nothing else to say before getting onto the results, I'll give you some advice on how you can get your predictions in the episodes easier. It's simple, really. Just go for shorter videos. I try to keep the prediction sections five minutes at the most. Sometimes I'll go a little over if I have a video that long, but I do want to showcase multiple predictions and I don't want to go over five minutes. So yeah, shorter videos are preferred. Now onto the results. Now we know both Aaron and Wander are capable of taking down giants and transforming into giants themselves, but for now let's start off with their human forms. While Wander does have a wider arsenal with all of his bows and arrows, swords and harpoons, there's no way he'd be able to catch up with Aaron's speed and mobility. Now if Wander was riding his horse aggro, that'd definitely help him catch up some, but it's not like it would help him swing across cities like Spider-Man or anything. Aaron's 3D maneuver gear and speedy sword slices that can cut through human bones would be able to overwhelm Wander in no time. And with Aaron and having the speed to react and transform part of his arm before a cannonball hits, he'd most likely be able to dodge Wander's bow and arrow shots. Then there's the fact that Eren has been trained in the military for several years and knows how to handle himself in a fight. Meanwhile, Wander is just some guy who showed up to fight some monsters without any proper experience. But I mean, if Wander was capable of taking down skyscraper-sized colossi, he should be able to handle Eren's titan form, right? Wrong. The colossi Wander fights are very slow and sluggish and were merely trying to defend themselves as Wander attacked. Meanwhile, Titan Aaron can leap several meters in the air, sprint at incredible speeds, and is aggressive and always ready for a fight. Plus, Wander had to defeat the Colossi by striking their weak points, and while Aaron does have a weak point too, there's no way Wander would be able to reach it. Wander climbs up the hair and grippable parts of the Colossi to reach their weak points, two things he wouldn't be able to use to climb Aaron as his body appears to be hairless. And we can't forget Aaron's insane regeneration. Even Wander's exploding arrows wouldn't be able to put him down for good. Then, finally, while Wander can transform too, the most it would do is increase his strength. All we've seen Dorman Wander do is swat away a few soldiers. He wouldn't be able to stand up to Titan Aaron. I guess this is a massive loss for Wander. The winner is... Aaron Yeager. Get ready for the next battle.